Hello guys and welcome to this set modeler free tutorial. My name is Hobby Trucker. I am 17 years old and Hobby Trucker of course is my nickname in ATS2 community. My real name is Julian. I am from Germany. I'm from Bavaria at the city Munich. And today I want to show you how to import uh, trucks or something else in set modeler free. And yeah, um, many of modders or no modders, new modders, beginners make the mistake they just import the truck and they don't have textures on it and yeah, it's all shit. So um, I would I would uh, prefer if you take a rainy Sunday and click through the folders of the base to get a knowledge of the base, how the base works, because the base is. Um, this is one of the most important things that you need for modding. So <coughs> let's start. Um, we opened the Z modeler. I hope you have a license because this is necessary. Now we want to import a truck. I import my truck. Um, I saved it uh, in a folder where all my company mods of my virtual company are saved in. For me it's useful folders, my company, and this is all I did for my company. So now I import my streamline. Maybe you have this folder on your, or such a folder on your desktop, so you click on it and there are all folders you need, vehicle, unit, model, material, dev. For normal it's only vehicle, material and dev. Unit and model is only because I've put things on this track. Yeah, it's Wayne. So um, now to import the truck, you need to click the vehicle truck, and this is here the base uh, from Punisher, good mate of mine, and uh, it's it's uh, here uh, his gun streamline. So I click on the streamline. If you um, want to import 50k Scania R2008 or the R2 from Punisher you have to click to 50k R high but for now it's streamline and now I see we don't oh Scania S of course sorry um, now we have all PMD files in this folder and we need the truck PMD to import. Um, here in this case which called base SCS um, you have to choose the path of this truck where it's saved. For me it's useful folders my company name and then uh, one moment no it's there uh, yes it's the useful folders, my company name, uh, and then Julie's Dreamline. This is necessary. Um, always you uh, click to the path of your main folder. So if you have uh, the folders like vehicle, truck, material, dev, or something else, um, never choose only vehicle ordinary folder in this case so ever always uh, click to the main folder and now we you don't have to choose the folder of your mod but it's it's uh, you can do it if you want so uh, please excuse my English I'm German and we're not born to speak English uh, yo uh, now we click import because we choose the path and we click to truck PMD. Just click import. Uh, for me now it took some time because my truck is quite big. It's my BDF BDF truck. So it has much polygons. Yeah, uh, in this time I can tell you something. What I will do the next weeks and months. Uh, 
in this time the next weeks and months I will create a completely new truck with you or better say a modified truck um, we will start with simple things and then we grow with this truck I will show you stuff for beginners and we will grow so I, in the end we have a great modified truck with simple start and hard end if you want you can follow me of course it's only it's only good for you so now this is the uh, main structure of the set mod where you can activate the parts you see we import it it's finished the import has been finished and now you can see the truck where is it um, you have to go to the right side or wherever you have this toolbar and you have to choose which type of cabin and chassis you want to activate. For me it's cabin A. You see it's this. And it's cabin uh, it's chassis 64. This is my truck. It's not finished yet, but I'm working on another project so I don't have time for it. This is my truck for now. And yeah, this is how you import a truck and activate. Of course you have all opportunities. You can choose cabin C, it's like this. It's this uh, little type of cabin or you can choose the 442 chassis. It's this and um, always, always activate the stuff you want to work with it. Yeah, uh, this is the first tutorial how to import stuff or trucks or whatever you want and i hope you liked it if you have some questions please ask me in tri uh, truck stop europe forum not on youtube i'm daily online in trucks uh, truck stop europe and please ask me there and yes i hope you enjoyed it if you have any suggestions for what i can do better please tell me because i'm really nervous to make this tutorial you can believe me i'm really nervous so sorry for my mistakes but i hope you enjoyed it and now i can say happy modding